Hello students, welcome to your 11 chemistry and module 3, the reactive chemistry module. This is video number 4, where we start to look at some of the different reactions in a little bit more specific detail. This one is on synthesis reactions. Now synthesis reactions, I guess in their simplest form, is the formation of a compound from its elements. So one of the things that we've done is we have taken some magnesium, and we've heated it over a Bunsen burner flame, which allows it to combine with oxygen, which allows us to form the compound magnesium oxide. Now, this is a general example. This is a specific example of a synthesis reaction where two elements combine together in a fixed ratio to form a compound. And this is probably the most classical um, definition, if you like, of a synthesis reaction. Of course, we must now start to get into the habit of writing proper chemical equations to represent each of these different reactions. From the periodic table, magnesium has the symbol Mg, and we know that it's a solid. Oxygen is a diatomic gas at room temperature. That's its state. And when these two combine together, they form the compound magnesium oxide. Now, this is both a solid white fine powder, and it also has the formula MgO. When I look at the periodic table, I notice that magnesium is in group two, and so therefore has a two plus uh, charge, and uh, oxygen will have two minus. It's two positions away from the noble gases. And therefore, these are already in the correct ratio, so one to one is correct. Of course, this is not balanced, and I need to make sure that I do that. So let me just change the color so you can see I've got two oxygens here. So I'm going to have to put two at the front of here. And that now means I've got two magnesium. So I'm going to put two at the front of here. And now I have a balanced equation. This is the most uh, classic type of synthesis reaction, but Polymerization, which is what produces these fantastic um, plastic products. And at the time of recording this, we are right in the middle of a transition point where all our supermarkets are shifting to no longer have the single use plastic bags, which is creating some interesting challenges. Uh, synthesis is one of the reactions that's also used to describe the production of complex substances from more simpler substances. So if I put simpler substances to complex substances, and as an example, put a series of monomers together to produce a polymer, such as what happens with some of these different types of plastics, and this includes uh, polyethylene, uh, both low density and high density, uh, polystyrene, uh, PVC, uh, there's a range of different types of plastics, all of which are based on different monomer units. So these would be the simple uh, substances, and even though each of these would potentially be a compound, but what we're forming is a long chain, very complex uh, molecule, a polymer, which uh, is still part of our definition of synthesis. Now synthesis has probably one more important um, term, if you like, that uh, is associated with it. And that is, in chemistry, we have a number of chemical substances that are naturally occurring, and other substances which we're able to create in the laboratory, which may mimic some of the different types of substances that are present naturally. When we create these substances in the, li in the laboratory from different um, starting materials, this is also a process known as synthesis. So we can synthesize an ester, which perhaps uh, mimics the smell of a naturally occurring substance like a fruit, um, just with a combination of something like an alcohol and, uh, and, uh, an, es and an organic acid. So these are some of the things that we can do in the laboratory to create different types of chemical substances. And these two um, can be classified as synthesis reactions. For you, the main thing that we want you to do is to get a sense of the general type of reactions that are involved in synthesis, uh, which most commonly will be two different elements being combined to form a single compound. Thanks for watching.